All right, are you ready for an out of this world space adventure? Well, let's talk about Amazon Prime's A Million Miles Away. Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass. And I'm here to talk to you about A Million Miles Away, which is coming to Amazon Prime on September 15, 2023. It is a movie that is inspired by an incredible true story about a young Latino boy who has this dream of being an astronaut and the amount of effort and adversity that he went through to try to make that dream a reality. It, it is an incredible story. It is a true story. And my hot take is I definitely think you should watch it. Look, it is just a wonderful, like heartfelt, inspiring movie about someone pursuing their dreams and, and overcoming adversity, challenges, their own self-doubt. It has a ton of heart, a really good cast, and a fantastic opening and a fantastic ending. So I definitely think you should check it out now. Just a quick note for kids is very PG. There's nothing really objectionable in this movie, but the movie is fairly long and a little bit slow. It is more of a drama. So it has a lot of slow scenes, a lot of very emotional scenes. My kids didn't really love that. And also the movie is partly in Spanish, partly in English. There are subtitles. I love that it has, you know, Spanish throughout and it kind of like flows in between English and Spanish throughout. But my kids didn't love that they had to read subtitles and sometimes they couldn't read the subtitles. So it was tough for them to understand. It is a fine movie to show your kids. Just they might not get an, a lot out of it and they might become pretty bored in the middle. But so that being said, I'm going to tell you a little more about the film. A few things I liked and a few things I didn't like. So A Million Miles Away is a story of Jose Hernandez. His family immigrates every year to America to kind of follow the uh, the, the crop season, the plant, the planting season, to, to go and pick crops in California to try to earn some money to then buy a house in Mexico. They have a very tough life. They have a very kind of grueling life. And Jose shows an aptitude for math and science and really it just seems to be this bright kid with this dream, this dream of being an astronaut. But his lifestyle and all sorts of other challenges seem to always get in the way of that singular dream. Now, does he ever make it to space? Does he ever kind of make his dream a reality? Well, you have to watch the movie to find out. So things I liked about this movie. The first, look, I love the opening. It has a, a pretty long opening, actually. It was a surprisingly long opening, but I thought it did a fantastic job of just kind of establishing Jose's life and like the life of a lot of migrant workers. Like it's not singularly on Jose's family. Like there are, the, the film looks at like that whole lifestyle and the amount of work, the kind of difficulty of that life. And also just kind of some of the challenges that come about just because of their race and just because of their social status. It is a, a really good long opening to really kind of frame everything about Jose's family and his upbringing. And also to get a sense of like where he's coming from. And I love that kind of, kind of the movie took its time with the opening sequences. The second thing I love, I love Michael Pena. He is a fantastic, he's a really fun actor. He does a good job in this movie. He kind of balances as he always does, like a little bit of seriousness with a little bit of comedy. He's a little more serious in this movie. He doesn't really kind of like, make that many jokes but he still has a very like likable personality a very kind of likable character and you really need that in someone that you're going to be rooting for you know you want to see him pursue his dream and so uh he, he does a great job of kind of balancing that line and making the audience get behind him the third thing i love look i love the heart i love the heart in this movie it is definitely it's almost like an inspirational sports movie if they were playing sports but no they're they're trying to become astronauts but the film has a ton of heart there's a ton of like emotional scenes there's a ton of very kind of down moments for jose and his family there are some high moments are they like a million miles high well you have to watch the movie to find out but there are definitely some ups and downs in his journey and i love how this movie is going to pull your heartstrings and make you kind of feel for the family and for uh jose hernandez and the last thing i love look i love the ending it is a really good ending it kind of ties everything together it takes a while to get there the movie is about two hours long it definitely takes its time getting there but the payoff is worth it. I loved the way that this film ended. It, it kind of elevates your spirits. It, it leaves you with a good, you know, feeling and a good taste in your mouth. So I definitely love the way that this film concluded. I love when the movie has a strong opening and a strong ending and a million miles away it definitely has that. Uh, that being said, things I didn't love as much. The first, the film is a little bit long. Like I said, I didn't really mind the length, but it did feel like a long movie. And I was watching with my kids and they were definitely not enjoying the length of the movie. So I don't really know if you could trim much. It felt like in the middle, you could trim a little bit of it. I really liked the very long opening and I liked the ending sequence. It felt like there were a few things in the middle you could trim out, but uh, just know that this film is a two hour movie. It is a pretty long endeavor, but look, Jose Arias had a ton of adversity to overcome. So uh, it, it makes sense that the film is a long one because it kind of shows all the things that he had to go through. The second thing I didn't love as much, there is some CG, uh, not a lot, like 
there's a lot of really good effects in this film. There's a little bit of CG. It looks a little silly. Luckily, there are only a few minor pieces of CG. There's a specific like butterfly that comes through that you can definitely tell is CG. I think some of the rocket stuff is also CG. But that being said, I think it would have been really difficult for them to get an actual monarch butterfly to do some of the things that they had to do. So again, both very minor things. Overall, I really did like this movie. I thought it was a really fun, really dramatic, really heartfelt uh, movie. So you should definitely check it out. Maybe it will elevate your spirit up to the stars. Who knows? But uh, definitely check out A Million Miles Away. It comes to Amazon Prime on September 15th, 2023. And thanks so much for watching. If you like this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you. Thank you.